Stay out of the way. <laughs> um, okay, we'll touch an option. Mm. It's touching. I could do one of these if this is there. Yeah. <laughs> to see it in detail. You know, it would be nice to have. We, we talked about getting a screen up here. Because imagine me trying to tell 12 students, 13 students, okay, here's what I'm doing. And all we have is this tiny little window here to look through. So uh, trying to make like video tutorials. I, I put a my phone on a selfie stick magnetic base type thing and it it recorded some video but well, there's got to be a better way maybe I can just put some monitor here yeah the, i think on, on main campus they do have that okay. where you can see that's what's going on in the machine small webcam that's so yeah. cheap it's not so like a big deal um all right one other thing is when i talk and do something at the same time I usually screw something up so I'm gonna if you topped it off <laughs> go back to where we were great choice steps take the Z origin and then we're gonna jog over that 1.625 okay now moving in the X negative Trying to. There we go. Okay. Near 16. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe five? They took one. Six if you count the one that you bent with the chuck. Nah, I'm not going to count that because that's garbage. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, By all means, we could make a little program to do this, but... You'd still have to stand here and pull it out every time. Yeah. So we'll just... Okay, so there's that. In the position, the origin. I'm going to move my 1.65. That one's going to be pretty close. Not plenty of room. Now that we got the hang of it, I'm going to try to go a little faster. Pull it out, tighten it up. Stand up. Jog over. Lower speed. Otherwise, what happens is it floats and you'll run into it. I do you know how you remove this one? How? How did you do that? It just fell off. <laughs> I'm going to guess that when we clamped it with the vice grip, it, it broke the seal somehow. And Okay, position, Z, origin. One point. Keep up.
We're on a speed run now. No, we're on a... What do you want to call that? We have a, a bottleneck here. Everybody wants parts. I gotta get these... These out. One at a time. the saw. If we come back in here, this is the robot so far with a ladder attached to it. Let's go see the motor from, or the robot from last year. This is from last year's robotics competition. I didn't do a video on last year's competition. I apologize for that. This one's got a few quirks. The air hose for the pneumatics isn't attached all the way, so it leaks. 119.5 pounds of awesomeness. What are we doing? Trying to plan out the claw? That's the big part. Not really. Our prototype claw. Let's see if I can find out where we left it. Bumpers from last year. Or maybe this year, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going now. I'll come back when I found it. So let me describe to you guys what we're trying to basically do. We're using these rubber green wheels. They're squishy, so they're grippy. To doing this all one-handed. We'll have one wheel or two wheels on this side and two wheels on this side and they'll just roll it into a claw. I don't have both hands right now. I wish I had a GoPro. So I'm going to set it on my knee. Yeah, you guys are hard to play. So let's see if we can get you to stay up here. Going vertical. Guess we're not. I'll come back when I have a tripod stood up. All right, that'll have to do. So basically, two wheels come in, they roll it in, and they lift it up. And when we get down to the scale, pop and drop it. Don't know if you guys caught any of that, but hopefully you did. I don't know, I'll have to find the claw so I can really show you what's going on. And in there, they're making spacers. Oh, really tripping. Let's see if we can find the electronics.
The drills. A couple of motors, quite a few motors actually, a window motor and three big DC motors. I'm still trying to find that claw so I can show you what it does. It's our table of miscellaneous supplies. Quite messy at the moment, but hopefully we can fix that soon. And my drink. This year's budget, I believe, was 4000 or 6000 I don't remember. <laughs> And that's as much as we can spend, and each part of the robot can only be up to $500. We can't exceed $500. So this is the base we chose this year. It's different from last year's because it's got the open end here for the claw to come out. Well, that's supposed to be what we're going to make into a claw. I'm not sure what my phone was doing there, maybe. Got another window motor. May or may not be broken at the moment. Couple of tube frames. I can't find anything I need right now. It's annoying. That's what I get for not being in here for a quarter of the day. I'll come back when we got something interesting going on. <laughs> 